Well, good evening, everybody. As we all wait for the snow to come, I thought I might just share a hymn and a history with you tonight. And we are going to go off of a, a famous one made by Martin Luther in the year 1527. And it comes from Psalms 46. It says, God is our refuge and strength, a helper who is always found in times of trouble. Therefore, we will not be afraid, though the earth trembles and the mountains topple into the depths of the sea, though its water roars and foams and the mountains quake with its turmoil. So the year is 1527, and Martin Luther is undergoing a lot in his life. The plague is coming, and his um, six-month-old daughter would die in the next year. She was born in December, and in May of 1528, she would um, succumb to her frailty. And one of his followers and friends had been martyred for um, going under Martin Luther's teachings. And he was also going, uh, undergoing an intense period of temptation that he would write about. And he was also going through struggles with the church. And so Martin Luther at this time turns to Psalms 46 and transposes it into this wonderful song, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. And um, Martin Luther, he kind of reformed the way that... Um, congregational singing had been at that time. Um, there was choirs that sang, but, you know, the congregation would not. And so he had his choir go in the congregation and kind of be scattered around, and they would help encourage the other congregational members and also teach them to sing the hymns. So I thought that was a, a neat way of um, having a choir. So using them more as a teaching tool rather than as a performance. And... Um, I think he was, um, if you don't know the history on Martin Luther, he was a, a monk and a Roman Catholic monk. And through his studies of the Bible, he learned that it was by faith that we are saved and not by rituals, not by things that we do. And he would nail 95 theses, so his thoughts on um, why his beliefs contradicted what the Roman Catholic taught. And at the Diet of Worms, he would not retract this statement, and he would go on to be the German Reformation leader. Um, and he would go on to also compose 37 hymns along with his teachings. So I guess it was, um, it was neat to understand where this hymn came from in the midst of all the opposition that he was facing and how he um, dove back into the Word of God to be able to draw upon encouragement for himself and for peace for his soul in the midst of everything he was going through. And I guess that's what I would encourage you right now. If you're going through a loss of faith, um, a loss of a loved one, loss of a job, loss of health, uh, dig back into the Word of God. Dig back into those hymns and find your way back. Find your way back um, to the surface again. Find your way back to God and um, all that He has for you. So let's sing this great hymn together. I know that you know it and have sung it growing up. And maybe if you don't, listen to it now and take comfort from the words. 151 in Celebration Hymnal. A mighty fortress is our God. A book word never failing. Our helper he amid the flood of mortal ills prevailing. For still our ancient foe does seek to work us woe. His craft and power are great, and armed with cruel hate, on earth is not his equal. I hope you guys will enjoy the, um, or join me next time for the next 10 Minute History, and we'll see if we get the snow or not. <laughs> 